I'm Derek Klobuchar with SAP, and I'm here at SAP Labs Latin America to check out what getting started with SAP Leonardo really looks like. There will be four phases of your digital journey towards solving business problems. How do we start the Leonardo engagement? We have the explore phase, which is exactly to understand the pains of the customer, to get the, their business challenges. The explore phase includes SAP collaborating with customers to prioritize which business problems need solving first. The explore phase ends with a problem statement. After that, we go to a discover phase, where the focus is to go into the customer, go on site on the, the customer, and validate those biggest challenges, uh, understand those business processes. While SAP is on site with the customer, everyone from across your organization gets to see how things really are, especially in other departments. This also helps give people an idea of how things could be. The discover phase produces the first round of prototypes, usually mock-ups on paper. When you go to, the, to a more uh, specific design and prototyping, we bring all that, uh, that content, all that feedback that we had during the customer uh, interactions inside to SAP. The team works within SAP Build to refine the prototype and test it alongside you. This ensures that the solution will provide exactly what you need in the way you need it. Design and prototyping ends with the first design gate, but more about that later. At the end, when we reach the deliver phase, the third phase of the, the, the process, we already uh, have a, what we call a proof of concept. It, uh, it is when we are getting really closer to uh, rolling out uh, the final product. This phase includes the customers validating that the proof of concept actually delivers what they're expecting. Helping to keep the design on track, backwards arrows in this graphic indicate where you might redo a phase if it wasn't successful. During those processes, we have what we call the design gates. The first design gate, after the design and prototype phase, evaluates whether or not the prototype adheres to the three pillars of SAP Fiori's design methodology, where people, technology, and business overlap, as well as SAP Fiori's design principles, which hold that solutions must be role-based, adaptive, simple, coherent, and delightful. The second design gate ensures that the SAP Fiori standards are still in place and that the final product solves the business problem. It's to make sure that the solution uh, that the customer need is being fulfilled, that the design principles are, are in accordance with uh, the SAP Fiori methodology, and at the end of the day that, we, that the look and feel is great and we are providing something in good quality for the customer as well. That's it for now from SAP Labs Latin America. For SAP, I'm Derek Popacher.